Yo, Yo, what's up everybody? Morning. We're on the last leg of the road trip. Currently in Gisborne, but we are headed off to Rotorua today. Yeah, it's gonna be a four hour drive, oh. so a bit of a long one. <laughs> but thank goodness we had a sleep in this morning though, because we did rail bikes yesterday, which was amazing. But yeah. legs are feeling it a little. So. Yeah. Should we head off? Let's go. Got about 40-ish minutes more to go before we hit Rotorua and our destination and we saw a lake called Lake Okataina and we thought we'd take a quick stop off. We were driving for about 15 minutes straight of kind of narrow road with very overgrown forest on both sides and wondering where is this gonna lead to but we finally got here. <laughs> Peter's hopped out already to get some drone footage but let's check this view out. It is chilly here, but not so bad. Like it's been colder other days, but oh, oh no, I take that back. It's a bit cold. <laughs> four o'clock now, and it was a four hour ish drive to get here. And you're just sort of hit with this view straight away when you drive into the car park. Where are we now? Uh, we're at Redwoods Tree Walk. Yen and I have just started this Redwoods walk. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> We're currently on the platform and this is what the walk is all about. You're kind of suspended in the trees yep. overlooking all the beautiful forestry. It's, it's $30 if you do want to do it. And this is a winter special that we've bought right now, which lets us do the walk during the daytime and also the nighttime one, which everything gets lit up apparently. Not sure how well we're going to be able to cover it because it is going to be a little bit dark, but we'll try our best anyway. There's also an extreme altitude experience which you can do which is $89 and that's apparently 7 meters even higher and you're suspended by like harnesses and stuff like that. But we're fine with just doing the walk for now. <laughs> so one of the few rules that there are here is that it's only 8 persons maximum on the bridge and 20 on the platforms. No stopping on these bridges but you can take all the pictures you want from the platforms. And also don't touch the tree. These redwoods aren't actually native to New Zealand, but what is cool is that you are surrounded by a bunch of forest and bush. That, that is. is native to New yeah. Zealand, like this one. So I've just been reading about the making of Redwoods Tree Walk. And what's interesting is that they've got ecological engineering, which means that how they've built this entire tree walk does not harm the trees. Even the slings that they use up the top grow with the trees and it doesn't harm the bark or anything like That's that. That's a pretty good fact. Yeah, they got like a whole German team to come over and build this whole structure, which is quite amazing. Hello. This is the tallest point. <laughs> Let's have a look at that. Up. It's a nice view up here. And down. So we've reached the end of the loop now and the sun is going down, which means the lights are going to come on soon. We're just going to go quickly warm up a little. For in, a the in the eyesight center. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll come back and show you what it looks like at night. Hopefully the footage comes out okay because it is going to be quite dark I think. So much warmer in here right? So much warmer. I don't even know what temperature it is but I can't feel my fingers and my toes. <laughs> <laughs> Got a hot cup of tea because <laughs> it's freezing but thank goodness this is warming it up. <laughs> it's night time now and there's actually quite a line that's built up to see the lights. It's pretty cool at night. I wasn't quite sure what we were going to expect, but unfortunately, I don't think you'll see it on camera though. We've got sprinkly lights throughout the entire forest and these really gorgeous lamps. The lamps might come up, but I don't think the sprinkly lights will. Sprinkly lights are cool. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everybody! Morning. Brand new day here in Rotorua. Yeah, we are currently here at Waio Tapu, Peter's favorite geothermal hot springs activity place. <laughs> There's quite a few different options to choose from when you do come here to Rotorua. Well, this was my childhood favorite one and so we thought we'd have to show you guys my favorite place as well. Pretty cool, huh? 
Yes, it's so green. This one here is called Rotokari Kitea. It has a pH level of 2, I was reading before, which makes it super acidic. That's because it's filled with lime juice. <laughs> but yeah, if you're wondering why it's so green, it's because there's minerals that are suspended in there and it, what was it, refracts, refracts the light. sunlight. Yeah, so it looks different depending on how sunny it is as well. So for everyone who doesn't know, Rotorua is actually famous for all these mud pools and geysers and things like that. As soon as you actually come into the town, you can smell it. Sulfur. <laughs> yeah, it's a really unique smell. I think you do get used to it quite easily though. But I remember as a kid, it was really, really strong and I don't like the smell. But now as we're older, and we've probably lost sense of smell because of aging, it doesn't seem so bad. I've always found it kind of therapeutic actually. It, it smells... Natural. <laughs> so unfortunately there is no droning allowed here but totally understandable and also no jandals. Yeah that, that's why I got shoes on today. How incredible is this view? This one here is the Champagne Pool and it's the largest hot spring in New Zealand. It's 65 meters in diameter and it goes down 62 meters deep. I think what's cool about places like this is even if you're a kid or an adult, if you use your imagination, it really does cast you back to like a prehistoric time where dinosaurs roaming these lands. But yeah, if you do want to come here, the prices for this particular park are $30, $32.50. And there are various other parks with different kind of price points. This one's one of the three main ones. We've reached the end of our little walk and right now we're here at the Green Lake. On a very clear day in the corner, you can make out the top of Ruapehu, which we will be visiting at some point because you can do snowboarding and skiing from there. There are three different walks that you can do here. It takes about 90 minutes to do all of them. Um, but if you want to take your time and just enjoy all the scenery, it can take a little bit longer than that. And one of the things that I always want to do once I'm at a place like this is soak in a hot springs. Unfortunately, you can't do it here, but we <laughs> are going to take you guys to a place which is very nearby where you can do it. So less than a 10 minute drive away from Waiotapu, we are here now at Waikite and it looks amazing. We are going to go for a soak which will be awesome to rest our muscles and soak up those great minerals and all that. We haven't been to this one before so really looking forward to it. Just about to get our tickets. It's $20 here for general admission, and there's two different options for private pools. So there's a $24 and a $28 option. The $28 option, which is what we're going for, will also give you a towel and some waters as well. Handy. We're here in our private pool now. We get 40 minutes in this area, which is awesome. I think that's a great amount of time for soaking. And it's nice because we get a little view. The lady was saying it was 35.5 degrees. Yeah, right? and we can adjust it. Okay, here goes. <laughs> it feels perfect. <laughs> After our four hour cycle ride, <laughs> it feels pretty good to have a little bit of a soak, wouldn't you agree? It sure does. <laughs> and this place is open from 10.30 to 8pm. Yeah. And the best thing is that the waters are drained and refilled daily. So it's all nice and clean. <laughs> yeah, and after you've had a soak of the private pools, uh, you're still actually free to use uh, any of the six public, public pools as well. So it's a pretty good deal. We have just wrapped up. How did you find that experience, bud? That was really nice way to spend our afternoon. Um, I recommend doing the private pool because it's only about four to eight dollars more depending on whether you need the towels like we did who came unprepared. <laughs> uh, but now I'm pretty hungry. We found this really great Vietnamese place last night but it was oh, yes. too late <laughs> to eat, too late to film and we were hungry and all that so we're going back there today. So we don't normally go to the same restaurant like two days in a row because we like to eat different things but the food here was so nice when we had it yesterday that we had to come back and tell you guys about it. So this place is Saigon 60s and the family is from Saigon but also Da Nang as well. And what I had is the chicken pho. I loved it because it was salty, a little bit sweet, really nice noodles 
but the thing that I super enjoyed was the spring rolls. So they're still on their way, but we'll have some of this first. It's as good as it was last night. <laughs> it's so perfect because being here in winter, it's cold, <laughs> it's very cold. So having that deliciously hot soup is fantastic. So Peter's got his food now as well. Let's flip it over. I've got myself some grilled pork on rice. The flavors in the grilled pork are amazing. It tastes exactly like how you would get it in Vietnam. It has that slightly salty, sour, and a little bit sweet kind of flavor. And of course, because it's grilled pork, pork belly, you got that fattiness from the belly, but this Vietnamese baguette meat. too. The meat is just oozing out of it. It's like what? Could hear a crunch. Mm. Oh man. <laughs> mm. That's the thing you have to get. That's delicious. That buttery kind of flavors in there as well from either the um, pate or the butter itself. Oh yeah, there's the pate. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so I always need to cut my spring rolls <laughs> into little things. <laughs> It's salty, it's got that yummy pork flavor that comes through. It has the um, little glass noodles that's in there as well. And I just love it. It's like cooked perfectly, reminds me of our awesome adventures in Vietnam, eating all that delicious Vietnamese food. Yeah. <laughs> so it's great to be able to find this restaurant here in Rotorua. And that wraps up our time here in Rotorua. And in fact, this is the end of this particular road trip that we're on as well. We're going to head back to Auckland the next day. It's unfortunate, but it has been a fantastic week. So we hope you've enjoyed watching all our videos from around New Zealand. Yeah, starting things off in Cambridge and seeing the amazing Blue, Blue Springs. Springs nearby. Hey, Yamata, that was incredible. Yes, definitely. And of course, seeing the Kiwis and the Tuataras in yeah. the National Aquarium too. Feeding stingrays in Gisborne, doing that railway bike. That was awesome as well. Yeah. And then of course, all the activities that we did here. in Rotorua. <laughs> been a fantastic trip and if you guys have enjoyed it don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button yeah drop us a comment we love hearing from you and if you can please share our video as well it really does help our channel yeah i appreciate it guys and we'll catch you next time see ya see ya